Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 2.1 earthquake uh, near Tilton, New Hampshire. 25 people reported feeling this. It was three miles in depth. And they measure them from below sea level or five kilometers in depth. It was felt as far south as Nashau. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. And we got all the way up here by Orange and Grafton County, I believe that is, near the Green Mountains. Unusual, so many people reported feeling this earthquake, and normally only about 10% of the population report them. So the question is, why did so many people report it? Did they fudge about how strong it was? Here we got 2.35, 2.28, another 2.28. Here we have Lamont Dottery Seismic Station. Yeah, we got a little quake up here prior to that. This is that earthquake as it came in on different stations. Yeah, there was another one. That one was not reported. Look at the signature there. Right there. And there. Now, would you say this was stronger? It lasted a while, too. Look at that. That's a long shaking of the earthquake, and that's probably why so many people reported feeling it. Yeah, each one is a minute, it says here, in minutes. Look at that. Yeah, that one, the data. There's that other earthquake, like I said. It was probably a foreshock. Um, yeah, that's an interesting signature. Yeah, now there's been reports of magma rising up in that area very deep. Yeah, and that signature right there, that's a harmonic tremor. Yeah, you just can't make this stuff up. Look at that. Look at all the data that's missing there. So we'll come down and look at some more. I haven't looked up to see where these stations are, are at. These are broadband long period earthquakes broadband short period earthquakes yeah it looks like two they actually had two and look at here we got another small one another small one these would be very small aftershocks if in fact it was a magnitude 2.1 Let's look at that. Yeah, that's one right there. Because see, it shows up on the other monitor. Look at that. Yeah, data removed. Or it wasn't recording for some reason. Yeah, they're not mentioning these smaller earthquakes afterwards, are they? And I've talked about the earth changes that are coming with the weakening of the magnetic uh, pole. We'll see an increase in earthquakes and volcanic activity. Um, during the last magnetic pole flip, the continents actually moved. And we're starting to see that. Yeah, look at that. Because they're on all these different monitors. Yeah, these are definitely small aftershocks. Now using Google Earth, this is the location of that earthquake, and we'll pull it out. And I've talked about um, the different rift zones and what's currently going on with, um, yeah, the faults. Remember we got this failed fault, the failed rift, where the United States was actually going to separate. Yeah, yeah, there's the 2.1. The Atlantic Ocean is actually growing in size, spreading, where the Pacific Ocean on the west coast is actually shrinking and being compressed. They do not allow fracking 
anywhere up in this area. That law was passed a very long time ago. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you have a plan because of what's coming in the future. Yeah, if you got a 2.1 now, can you imagine the size of the earthquakes which will happen when the magnetic pole reversal gets even closer or happens? And it just doesn't flip overnight. Magnetic north and south will not settle into its position. Um, they used to say it took a like 2,000 years for it to settle down. It bounced around in different locations on the earth like a divot on a golf ball. But now some scientists believe that activity continued for 20,000 years. And during that 20,000 years or 2,000 years, whatever comes, you're going to see great earthquakes. So I hope you have a hard hat. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. I'm on Patreon. If you don't get notices of my videos, you can always subscribe on Patreon. I'm also on Twitter. And I have a PayPal account. So once again, yeah, I have a plan for what's coming in the future. It's going to be a rough ride. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen. But we're seeing this increase in earthquakes across the globe. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.